y'all welcome back and today we are going over 10 more great tank mates for your butter fish now quick disclaimer as I said in my previous video about the top 10 tank mates for buttas not all bettas are equal. Some are more aggressive than others. There are going to always be exceptions where they can't necessarily get along with anyone. And as for the peaceful tank mates that I have on this list, again, not all fish are equal. Every now and then you run across one that is a little bit more aggressive than they typically are in that species. Sometimes you get a bad egg and sometimes fish and creatures that are supposed to be peaceful are not always as peaceful as you would expect them to be. I also do not recommend community tanks for beginner fish keepers as there is a lot, a lot to learn about the hobby. So my recommendation, if you are just starting out in getting a betta fish to try to start just a regular betta tank and sort of learn everything that you can learn because like I said, there is a lot to learn in this hobby. So number one on our list are feeder guppies. Now I'm going with feeder guppies as opposed to the fancy guppies because sometimes those bright, beautiful, brilliant colors that the fancy guppies come in might actually agitate the bettas. Now I have seen people integrate fancy guppies in with bettas successfully, but I have to say this is not something that is recommended. If you want to have a better chance of success, I would go with female or more plain feeder guppies in your tank. Now feeder guppies tend to get to be about one and a half to two inches in size and they do best if kept in groups of six or more. The minimum tank size for them is going to be 10 gallons, but always bigger is better, especially when you're talking about a community tank where you are keeping a betta. Next up, we have the clown pleco. Clown plecos get to be about three to four inches in size, so you do need to have a minimum of a 20 gallon tank to keep them in. They will help to keep your tank clean and they are one of the smaller versions of plecos. You wouldn't want to put a common pleco that gets to be one and a half to two feet in size in a 20 gallon tank. Number three is the coolie loach. These guys get to be about two to four inches in size and they require a 20 gallon tank. Now with coolie loaches, it is best if you do keep them in groups, they will be a lot happier. But because they are kept in groups, you might want to get a larger tank than just a 20 gallon. Number four is the cherry shrimp. Cherry shrimp are adorable and they get to be about one and a half inches in size. Now, as with most shrimp, they do better in a heavily, heavily planted tank and they require a minimum of a five gallon tank. Now, because they tend to be very small, if they are not kept in a heavily planted tank, there is a good chance that your butta might, might treat them as an expensive snack. But if you are keeping them in a heavily planted tank with your butta, then they should have a pretty good chance. Number five is the silver tip tetra. The silver tip tetra gets to be about one to one and a half inches in size and they need a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. Although honestly, personally, I would say 20 would probably be a better size for them. Now tetras are all schooling fish. So you want to keep a minimum of six in your tank and keep in mind that some tetras do tend to be fin nippers. And even though these are supposed to be more peaceful tetras, I would definitely keep an eye on them when you are putting them with your betta. And number seven, we have the cardinal tetra. The cardinal tetra looks very similar to neon tetras and they can add a nice little splash of color to your tank. Once again, they are a tetra, so they are a schooling fish, which needs to be kept in a minimum grouping of six. And as with the silver tip tetra, I would really recommend at least a 20 gallon tank to keep them in. And these guys do get to be around two inches in size, so they are a little bit on the larger size. Number seven is the yo-yo loach. 
The Yo-Yo Loach gets to be between three to five inches, so they are a larger species of fish. So they do require a minimum of a 20 gallon tank and they do best in groups, so you wanna get a minimum of three. Number eight is the Fire Rasbora. Fire Rasboras get to be about two inches in size and they need a minimum tank of 20 gallons. Rasboras are schooling fish, so once again, you will need to get a minimum of six. And number nine is auto sinkless. While autos are very small, they only get to be one and a half to two inches. They are considered a schooling fish, so you want to get a minimum of six. Although with autos, they really tend to do best and seem to thrive the most and really come out from hiding when you have at least 10 or more. So with autos, I would say the more, the merrier. With auto sinkless, you want at least a minimum of a 20 gallon tank, although often I would say 30 gallons or more would be better because because they do so much better in larger groups. And number 10 is the bamboo shrimp. Now the bamboo shrimp is a little bit on the larger size when it comes to shrimp, getting between two to three inches. They are a little bit more unique looking than some of the other shrimp out there available, and sometimes they are a little bit harder to find, but they can be worth it as, like I said, they are a much more unique little shrimp. Now with the bamboo shrimp, they do need a minimum of a 10 gallon tank. And again, as with all shrimp, they do better in heavily planted tanks with plenty of places to hide. Now, as I said before, even though a species might be considered peaceful, you still wanna make sure that when you are putting new species into your tanks, especially with bettas, you wanna make sure that you are observing the betta and you're observing the other fish to make sure that they are truly getting along before just calling it done and thinking it's a successful community tank. I also cannot stress enough that I don't recommend doing a community tank if you are a beginner fish keeper for bettas. So anyway guys, that's all I really have for y'all today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!